rough, rough video. Hi, I'm Miss Kelly. Uh, hi, uh, B7 students. We are going to do a quick lesson on uh, taking the clothes out of the dryer, cleaning out the, the dryer lint, and then we're going to do some folding. So let's start again, as we always do, with a deep breath in. Inhale up. Exhale down. And you can always do more of those. You can always take three deep breaths like we usually do in class. Inhale up. Exhale down. Okay, we have the washer. We have the dryer. Today we're going to focus on the dryer. Mine happens to be a front loader. We're going to open the door. We have our laundry basket. I'm pulling out laundry. It's my son's laundry. He doesn't know I'm doing his clothes. You're welcome. In my dryer, we have, we have these that help keep the laundry separate and help decrease wrinkles. So you always need to pull out your lint. Sometimes it's up there on the top loaders, on the other, on the normal dryers. This one, it's right here. So you clean it out, take out all that lint, because that could be a fire hazard. And also it will slow down the drying process. Okay, throw that away, put it in the garbage. And you're gonna pick up your basket, fold the clothes. Here, we're gonna take it <laughs> into the dining room so we can fold normally. You can fold on a bed or a couch. My dogs like to get on the couch, so I'm gonna fold it on the dining room table. So, folding, what we're gonna do is we'll do some do a shirt. So for the shirt, you're gonna lay it out flat, just like that. And then we're gonna do how Miss, um, Miss Trish taught us. You're gonna fold over once, so it's half. Fold it over again, and then you can leave it just like that. Just fold it over two times. If you put yours in smaller, you can do one more fold and have three. So there's a shirt, we'll do another shirt. This one's inside out, so you have to put your hands in, and then pull it right side out. And again, flatten it out, fold it over once, fold it over twice, and since I did that one three times, we'll do this one three times, three times. Okay, let's do one more shirt, so we're going to get it down, and then Miss Kelly will move on to another thing to fold. Ready? Fold it over once, twice, three times. Okay, last of the shirts. Now we're gonna do pajama bottoms, which is pretty much so all my children are wearing now that we are in shelter in place. And all of our times. So, here are the pajama bottoms. Again, put them out, lay them flat. Here you're going to fold them over once, fold them over second time, third time. Lucky us, we're going to have extra pajama bottoms to practice on. Again, put them out, put them flat, there we go. Fold them over once, twice, last time. I wasn't kidding, there's a lot of pajama bottoms. Let's see if we can find one more pair. Uh, let's see, I think I saw a pair. Oh, these are pajama bottoms too. Take these lighter, and there's that the ball that I told you that keeps things from getting too wrinkled, because I'm not sure we need to worry about pajamas getting wrinkled, but you never know. Again, lay them out. Fold them over once, twice, three times. So, we've worked on folding pajama bottoms, folding shirts. Next time we do folding, we'll work on towels and washcloths. Those are a great one, but we're gonna first sort and do a load of laundry. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Oh.
Say bye to the doggies. Rough, rough video.